In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your very first landscape. So this video is going to be perfect for beginners who have never created any landscapes before. Let's go to File, New Level, and choose Default. This is a good starting point to create your landscapes in because this level gives you Direction Light, Skylight, Atmospheric Fog, Sphere Reflection Capture, Player Start, and a Sky Sphere. Inside the Modes panel, Click over this tab to go into the landscape mode. Shortcut is Shift 3. Right away you're going to see a preview of what the landscape size is going to look like. And you'll have the Manage tab enabled. Here under New Landscape, we can create new, or we could click over to Import from File. If you had a height map created in an external software, you would import it from here. In our case, we're going to create new. And right below that, you'll have a material input. Here you can add the material you want to use for your landscape, if you have one. So this would apply the material onto the landscape as you create it. But we don't have a landscape material created yet, so we can always do that later. So we'll leave this blank. The next three options are Location, Rotation and Scale. These allow you to move, rotate, and set the scale of your landscape before you create it. If it's your first landscape, and it's the only landscape, leave these at default. And if you need to move your landscape, you can always do so after you create it. And when it comes to scale, you don't want to change the landscape scale, except for very specific instances, and that's when you bring in a height map from another software. But that's a bit more advanced. The next set of options has to do with the size of your landscape. And these could get very complex and very technical. Here you get to choose how many quads per section you want, how many sections per component, how many numbers of components, overall resolution, and total components for your landscape. If you begin to change any of these properties, you will see the preview also change and give you a different size of the landscape depending on what you're changing. Now for this video, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to use the defaults that UE4 gives us. Section size, 63 by 63 quads. Sections per component, 1 by 1. Number of components, 8 by 8. And the overall resolution is going to be 505 by 505. And this gives us pretty good size to work with. That contains enough detail and it's performance efficient. And everything you choose here is going to depend on the type of environment you're creating and your target platform. In UE4 Landscape Essential Scores, I have an entire video about the landscape sizes and the technical guidelines to follow so you know what each of these mean. But for right now, keep everything at default and this size landscape is going to be pretty good. And then we have a button called Fill World. And all this does is it uses existing settings for your landscape and then it increases the number of total components to the maximum number it can use. And that's 32 by 32. So basically, it expands the landscape to the maximum number of components UE4 is allowed to use, which is 32. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this back down to 8 by 8. And again, we're going to use these default settings. And once you have Determine the size of your landscape you want to create and all these values look good to you. To create your landscape, just simply hit Create and your landscape will be created. The Landscape Mode panel will automatically switch from Manage to Sculpt and at this point we can begin working with our landscape. At any time you can switch back from Landscape Mode to any other mode in order to place some items or go back and add some lights. And by going back to the place mode, shift 1, you can left click to select the landscape inside the viewport, or you can select it inside the world outliner. And with the landscape selected, you'll have the details panel available to take a look at the properties and different settings for this landscape. Now, when you first create the landscape, you'll see these black lines all across outlining different components. And this is temporary because we haven't built any lighting. And to remove them, we can either build our lights 
but we're not gonna do that at this point. And to quickly get rid of them so we can sculpt without seeing them, I'm gonna select the direction light and change the mobility to movable and leave it there. Or you can switch it back to stationary. So by just doing a quick switch to movable and back to stationary, the lines will disappear. Then I'm also going to update our skylight. In the default level, it's set to static and I'm just gonna update it and change it to stationary. And skylight adds ambient lighting into the indirect lit areas, into the shadows. And by changing it to stationary from static, we don't have to rebuild our lights for the skylight to take effect. We also have the default plane and the player start below our landscape. So I'm just gonna quickly select them and move them to be above the landscape. And you could have also selected the landscape and moved it down. Either way would work. And we are gonna keep this ground plane for now because it acts as a scale reference to see how big the landscape is. And you may also want to insert a human reference scale into the level, the UE4 mannequin, to help you judge scale. And I have a separate video on that for how to download and add the mannequin to a project and then insert it into any level. This was just the beginning for creating a landscape. Next you would need to sculpt it using a variety of UE4 sculpting tools and then create a UE4 material specifically for landscapes. And that is a whole nother beast to deal with. So if you want to learn more for how to sculpt, for how to create landscape materials and how to paint those materials onto your terrain, download UE4 Landscapes Essential Scores and it will show you everything you need to know and how to get started entirely inside UE4.